Welcome to the show where we discuss Apple announcements, athletic anniversaries, and the greatest console of all time in a, no, I'm not referring to the Dreamcast, shockingly, bowl of dude soup. Dreamcast just had its anniversary. <clears throat> yeah. We, we, all, people we all remember 9999. <laughs> I do. Man, were, I was there. Where were you? I couldn't afford a Dreamcast. Days. I was there. there. No way. Oh, yeah, I got now. Absolutely there, day one. My, see, because the thing is, my brother and I were a united front. Neither of us as individuals could afford any game consoles, mm. but if we agreed, we could share basically yeah. a Christmas or a, or something. Mm. We'd be like, I'll push my birthday to my brother's birthday. Mm. Just to, and as long as you get us the Nintendo 64 or whatever, like you'd like, we combine our gifts. Yeah, you put yeah. your hands in and you said, let's be virgins forever. <laughs> <laughs> no, it more It has a 56K girls. modem. Yeah, the, <laughs> you can order a pizza, mom. <laughs> the, sh the shrill screech of a VMU that's out of battery would scare women away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we have a multitude of topics to discuss this week, um, and we're all going to give it a proper fair amount of time. Plus, don't forget, we got Countdown to Cats at the end of the show. I never will. I knew you wouldn't let me forget, but you don't have to remind me. We're holding um, you to it. <laughs> but before I forget, I want to thank our sponsors for today. Um, Stitch Fix, Bespoke Post, and Quip. So we're going to hear a little bit more from them later on the show. Thank you very much for your sponsorship. Um, let's just jump right in to this. Um, I'm, I want us to get to talk about Nintendo Direct. It's last week, um, and this is a good place to kind of air our reactions to it. I have some thoughts about it. Um, but before I get there, there has been some other news and progressive announcements. Oh, in it's 24 hour news cycle, it's gonna keep happening. Yeah. Okay. I can't keep up. Um, the first thing, the most important thing, um, yesterday was the 30th anniversary of American Gladiators. Did you guys realize that? I did not. I didn't. No. Season one of American Gladiators is is weirdly reserved. They had it on Hulu once, and I was mm -hmm. like, oh my god, American Gladiators. Yeah, it was, they were trying to, because it kind of got a little like tongue-in-cheek later mm -hmm. and kind of embraced mm -hmm. itself, but it was trying to be a legitimate Athletic variety sports show. event. Yeah, yeah. Was, and it's, uh, it always has been. Yeah, yeah. Wrong. It was still 89, so they were still hanging on to like the 80s where it's like, let's do this seriously, but we're doing it so fucking stupid because mm -hmm. it's the 80s. Well, certain things about that time period didn't seem stupid then. Yeah. It seemed normal. And American Gladiators was a show that seemed normal for the time. Well, the hubris mm -hmm. of the title, though. Yeah. We're bringing back gladiatorial combat, except right. now we're doing it right. Because yeah, they're yeah. American. So yeah. were the Nerf guns in the first episode, or did that come yeah. Assault? Later? Are you referring to Assault? I mean, there's all sorts of yes, things. They didn't it's, have Atlasphere. There were, there were some goofier <laughs> the events wall, they didn't have. They had the wall, if I recall, in what the is, first season, didn't they? Somewhere where you climb, then a gladiator tries to yank you I think you he's just yeah. kicking you. The, <laughs> simple, the simple competitions. They the had that. They one. did have Assault. They okay. had Joust, I believe. They didn't... Wait. They had normal Joust, but they didn't have the one where you're on a the giant swinging, rope. Cannonball? Okay. Cannonball, yeah. yeah, they, yeah I don't right. think they fun, had that. Fun game for you. You get to travel back in time, but you have to be on one of three game shows. Uh -huh. American Gladiators. Super Sweep. Right? No, no. Sorry. These are your choices. American Gladiators, Guts, or Nick Arcade. As an adult? I mean, no, no, no. Yeah, you have a human body. You have to be age appropriate to go oh, on to that oh, show. No. Oh, boy. If I revert to like eight year old me, that's going to be <laughs> American <pathetic. laughs> American Gladiators because it, so round. it was reasonable that you would lose that. But mm. as a kid watching Guts, I go, what is your problem? <laughs> just jump up on the stairs, yeah. grab a basketball, and bungee well, down. The kid like, gets on the kayak and he's somehow turning around. You're like, yeah. how did you do that? How are you having such a hard time with this? Just do the kayaking. <laughs> so I think I think I would probably go with American Gladiators because when someone got laid out by Gemini, mm. you were like, well, it's yeah, huge. Yes, <laughs> that makes yeah. sense. But it, it, Which... I, I felt like as an adult though, you'd have some understanding of it. Whereas Guts and Nick Arcade. You're just so confused. You're like because you're looking at you're a CRT. You're assaulted by no, stimuli, yeah. and you yeah. barely and have your a parents mind. signed you up. Like, <laughs> yeah. Why are they doing this? Yeah, like, you I want, want to be an actor. I want Mikey to go diagonal. Like Mikey can't do that. You go oh because <laughs> you're you're not you can't hear anything because they're they're telling you all the rules. Like all right, these are all yeah. things you got to do. And you just like, and there's a there's a stage manager who has to shoot five of these today. <laughs> yeah. Who just wants you to hurry the fuck up. To uh, Lawrence's outburst though, <laughs> any choice of show though definitely supermarket sweep, which is actually mounting its return. It is. So, and I'm curious how it's going to be updated for the... are dying. It's just, you're going to get on your phone it be, well, and then some be, other yeah. guy... It should be exhausting. Some millennial buy groceries anymore. is going to... Yeah. It's, it's, it's like three laptops of people on Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, it's me it's using like, Google Express. Know. Yeah, yeah. So go to Costco. Postmates. Yeah. Brought to you by Postmates. Yeah. Um, no, no, you go to you do it in a Costco. They get like an inflatable raft. Then you fill that with a bunch of shit. And you put that onto a dolly and then, yeah. You know you know what? Combine it. Sorry, so Adam, I love you. I love where you're going with this. You yeah. put nonstick pads on. Well, 
Well, well, we'll see. On the bottom of the raft, yes. you have one person throwing things in the raft, and then their partner is pulling it like a sled dog throughout Love the it. store. So you combine the thrill of the athleticism of American gladiators plus mm-hmm. the raw capitalism of supermarket sweets. There's always right. one person who tries to take the spa or the jacuzzi. And yeah. just can't. <laughs> it weighs 552 pounds. That it goes through the toilet paper. It's so big. Yeah. Who, right. Look at this man. You <laughs> get the turkeys. Those are like 30 bucks and they're so dense. Conceptually, uh, I would update it with the millennial lifestyle in mind. So I would say that you're you're late for the show because you got high before you were supposed <laughs> to go do it. So you're already. Or your call time is 10 a.m. and who can yeah, do that? You. Uh, you can't afford to buy any of the groceries because you don't make enough money. Mm. You can't you take that many GoFundMe groceries because you don't have a house. Mm-hmm. So it's not like you have a deep freezer <laughs> or a second fridge. Yeah, yeah. Like mm-hmm. it's just Oh, also, you know. what are you going to do with the groceries? You don't know how to cook. Oh, absolutely not. No. You don't know how to cook. You didn't you have home me? ec. That guy. You can't even boil water. Yeah. I once, I once, I was in a class with someone in college, university for international viewers, um, that uh, the person was like, I, I, I just can't cook. I was like, oh well, you, I mean, if you, I, I don't didn't know how either. Like, you can learn, and then, and then she went, she went, no, I can't even boil water, and I was like, well, then you're a moron. Yeah, you can. That's it's, where you ended it. There you're, are you're legit on, two steps, and both are dysfunctional. Are okay. nearly impossible to mess up. Yeah, so that's just you're just that's an excuse. You just don't want to. My, my grandparents lived in a. They had an awesome house in like Old Town Pasadena growing up. It was essentially like a mansion. Right. Like they no, they bought it in the '70s on like a Someone teacher's salary. A house. Yeah, I was well, like, it was the '70s, and you could yeah. buy anything you wanted in the '70s. Yeah. Yeah, it was like a like a they five it was like a I five guess. or six bedroom house, and I was like, I, mean, I was really sad when they sold it. It was old and it was like falling apart and stuff. But I had, I remember it, they had a deep freezer. It was just funny because I was always like, what the hell is that for? Because grandma would buy you know a bag of berries five years ago yeah. and throw it in there and go one day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like we yeah. have berries. You got a whole yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, my Polish great grandparents, their basement was just full of pickles and wine. <laughs> wine they made, so pickles they it's just made. Like, what are all these mason jars what are for? What are you doing this for? So we didn't throw it all space. out when they died. Old people have I've so, got like so three, much shit. I have three freezer bags of tamales from Christmases years past that we still have not gone through. I tell mm-hmm. myself one day, one of these days, I'm gonna like get one of those illnesses, like one of the cool ones, mm-hmm. where you get to just chill out at home for like months, mm-hmm. like and that's gonna AIDS. keep me alive. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a, like a sexier version yeah. of AIDS, though. That mono, was I, sure. we have. A, it was weird. We have a tamale story where once it plays back to my grandparents. We were flying out to uh, a family or private jet. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh God, no. We flew. <laughs> they put turbines on the house no. and flew that. Mm-hmm. Oh God. It's so yeah. No. Far from rich, but no. It was like it. This one of the things my grandma could have done is she had a box full of tamales. That she could have shipped, but she insisted on bringing it on the plane. Oh, no. <laughs> so she had a box of slowly defrosting tamales. Nice. Was she wearing an afghan? Uh, <laughs> yeah. No. And like hissing at anyone that stared at her tamales for no, too long? No, but they're, they're all, they're pretty, my mom's whole size is English mutt. So yeah, oh, okay. no, but it was weird. I was like, why tamales? I'll, I'll say this. There is a, there is a bakery. Can't wait to be old and weird. <laughs> there's a bakery in Los Angeles. Well, there's a couple of them in LA, but there's there's one specifically in Burbank called Porto's. Oh, it's a Cuban God. bakery and it's yeah. pretty fantastic. Shout out always, Porto's. There's, uh, there's yeah, Porto's always a line great. out the door. And if you go to LAX and you're there long enough, like with a layover or just early for a flight or whatever, Chances are you're gonna see someone getting on a plane with a box of Portos, mm-hmm. and I I don't judge. I'm the like, dogs yeah. are sniffing at it because <laughs> they like, want it too. You got a carry on, that's good. Because it's full of crack cocaine. <laughs> I just want to say one last thing about American Gladiators. And yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I, I yeah. would love sorry. to keep talking. There about are American so Gladiators. many things to say about. American. Just, yeah, we don't ha- we don't have to get into a big thing. Like about tendrils, it. it just it goes out. It's touched just so many parts of the world. Credit where credit is due. Mostly America. American Gladiators was <laughs> one of the first <laughs> athletic endeavors that I can think of. That put men and women on the same level. Huh. Okay. So we had them compete in almost the exact same competitions, Mm -hmm. and both were featured. It wasn't like one was less than the other. Yeah, you're right. If if I recall, I think figure skating. I think they would alternate between one week the women are the eliminator, and the next week the men were the final eliminator. So even at that, I think there was like an objective of not making it seem like the men's version of this was the real version. Yeah. It was very, and all the marketing material is all the gladiators all together. So yeah, shout outs to American Gladiators. Yeah, for, I can't wait for yeah. them to reboot it again. Yeah. It's again, probably again. funded by a Christian organization. I mean, Titan Games is basically the modern. I mean, there was 2006's American Gladiators, which was Awesome. Was it? Yeah, it had Wolf. Pyra- Pyramid, yeah. Wolf was the best. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I only watched, um, what was the that one, sh- that short-lived show Terry Crews was on? 
where they combined WWE. Oh, you're talking about Battle Dome? Battle Dome. Yeah, yeah. I got that on Amazon. <laughs> that was like that's like late '90s, early 2000s. They right? tried to work in narratives to the, yeah. the yeah. gladiators, and it was more extreme. And yeah, it's like it was... WMAC Masters oh. plus American Gladiators. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, we're getting down a rabbit hole. Great. Now. Yeah, sorry. Um, one more thing about Adam's grandparents. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I got plenty of stories. So the one time. Uh, Grandma cooked the salmon in the dishwasher, and everyone was afraid to eat it. Oh, she like, put it in the bag because she saw a video on Facebook it. or something. Yeah, Gosh, grandma. Oh, Facebook didn't exist at this time. How did you know about that? I, PBS, dude, or oh. it, I don't know, whatever public radio. People some found yeah. a way to find out about things there, back in the days. I only like computers. there's those yeah. annoying like 30 second cooking videos where you, it stops you in your feed, and you're like, oh, I know how to make that. No, you absolutely don't. No, but one of those was. Why cook something when you can just throw it in a bag and put I, it in the dishwasher? I just remember everyone being like, Because it's cooking either I just, way. I just remember it coming out and they're like, here it is, dishwasher salmon, and everyone going, No, 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 no. <laughs> How do you, you can't? And then and then she brought it like a giant it was like so tar- inefficient. It was so like tartar water. sauce or something. <laughs> something. It was a big white bowl of goo. And like, and there's the dip. Oh, like, God. What is this thing? <laughs> no put silverware. Yeah. I think we went out and got McDonald's. <laughs> nice. Well, speaking of big white dip. Uh, Apple had an event oh, today okay. to announce the new <laughs> all of it. New, announce Apple the, Watch, everything, iPhone, everything, iPhone 11, Apple Arcade. Well, I, don't, I lost track of this a long Apple time TV ago. Plus. I, I left the Apple uh, sphere Ecosystem. a while ago. I hate watching them. I don't. I don't have anyone. I don't have anything against people that are still in it. Mm-hmm. But I do. I know. I know you do. That's Apple, why it that's, affects me directly. <laughs> Apple punishes you for not having all of it. That's yeah. usually it. Or it's like. Hey, I have a iPad or a MacBook, but I don't have an iPhone. They go, no <laughs> iMessage. <laughs> you only get it on the phone. <laughs> well, now or, the, or the iPad. Yeah, I you guess. spent the last several months of your life trying to develop your own personal hack around to iMessage, right? Kind of got it to work. I just ended up switching to Signal. It's a better All chat right. app anyway. So I was like, eh. Because since since Google's killing Hangouts, because they can't decide what the well, fuck air they're quotes. Doing. I mean, they've been doing that for yeah. three years now, and yeah. it's still there and still working. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they announced a bunch of stuff. Um, Apple TV Plus, what? Which mm. is their Disney Plus. My but what word. was Apple which TV? Is, oh, Apple is, TV was the hardware. Yeah, but now yeah. it's a service. Now they're gonna. Oh, this okay. is their yeah. Netflix Slayer, so like, and I guess they pointed um, out the popularity yeah. of some of their things. You know, Disney Plus has you know, everything. Live action Aladdin and, and uh, MC Live action Return Blue. of Jafar. Well, I'm just saying original, just like oh. original production. Song Disney of the Plus, South. They have that. That Rob McElhaney that- show that Ubisoft showed during E3. That's oh, yeah. The, to Apple the Plus. game developer uh, yeah. uh, Slice of Life Netflix comedy. Netflix has, you know, Haunting of Bly Manor and uh, Dark Crystal. Their, Dark Crystal, yeah. all of their original uh, stuff. Elevator. The, I guess Tim Cook pointed to shows like Dickinson. Huh? Like and Emily Dickinson Morning show. Emily Dickinson show. Are there like yeah. a? Are they making a live action? Because I would, I'm legit interested in a live action adaptation of Emily Dickinson's life. Because all she did was wander around her house, sigh is. a lot, and write poetry. Yes, right. I love Emily Dickinson. <laughs> Morning show is that Jennifer Aniston Reese Witherspoon show. Uh, and great. Steve Carell, I think, is on it. Maybe possibly. Yes, is it like right. a drama about a morning yeah, show? Yeah, it looks yeah. like a uh, like, like, like a Thirty, 30 rock, rock, but like, but for the Good Morning America. Yeah, because Apple's whole thing was like, listen, we have all the money. So what if every show we made was the best show ever made? Except money can't buy. This can't qual. This like, can't go only, on. It right? only get you so far. This can't go on. There's there's uh. too much. Like there's legit too much good content to watch and not enough people to watch it. Everyone's yeah. fighting over. It's kind of zero sum, and unless people have more babies, but everyone's fighting over the same number of people. What was? And they've only got so much money. There was mm-hmm. a show yesterday. I think we we're in the car. Omar's like, oh yeah, or no. Uh, no, it was Jacob, sorry. He was saying like, oh yeah, you should watch that show. There's four seasons of it. You should watch all of it. <laughs> it's like, I And I'm over no. here and I Jacob, can't figure out how to watch Dragon Ball Z Kai saying, because Jake, it's not on Amazon. <laughs> Jacob lives in a time warp. I'm yeah, convinced of this now. He has more than 24 hours in a day. I think, I've thought about he's this He's got that a lot. time turner from He's got father. something that like he he I think he's got a low maintenance relationship because yeah. he fucks so good. Mm. Oh, wow. I think I think he can get in and out in 15 minutes, and then mm-hmm. there's no other problems to deal so with. It's that Patrick Bateman when he's looking in the mirror, except it's Jacob watching Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has a series of mirrors, so yeah. his, his monitor reflects all the way. And he's the just like, nice, <laughs> but it's just Goku powering up. <laughs> ah, that's cool. Um, they announced the iPhone 11. It's good. No more iPhone XR. Should be XI. VP. The, cif- the iPhone she. It's a Roman numeral joke for you guys. Oh. 
and and a China joke too. All wrapped in national viewers. <laughs> did Univer any, university um, send viewers. help? Riots bad. <laughs> did this announcement make any of you want to convert back to an Apple phone? No. no, I I said if they, I would say your move Apple. If you put a Type C connector in your phone, it will show me that you're at least somewhat willing you're to listening. innovate. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't. They're still no. using lightning cables, which I thought was just. In I don't get out of bed for anything less oh. than USB C. Well, there's also the iPhone 11 Pro. Which so is there's what? there's the 11. Which so now what? it used to be it used to be the standard naming convention was the normal one, and then they'd add yeah. like a thing to like it's the umlaut or whatever yeah. to the end of it, just so that way. It, you the iPhone it. But now we're going pro <laughs> on our stuff too, which it's I think a, is still a thousand dollar phone. And they kept hitting that. It starts like, at a thousand dollars. As a yeah. marketing beat, they kept saying, "This is the first time we called anything pro." And then they like say, "Wow, there's another lens." Yes, truly for professionals. Like they really hammered the pro yeah. thing. I think the thing about uh. Apple is that it's it built this audience on being so minimalist and sleek, mm -hmm. but now that's only gotten so far, and they're just reverting to the same techniques that everyone has been used forever. So it's like. It used to just be iPhone. That's it. And yeah. then they'd walk out of the room. <laughs> you'd be like, oh, that's so simple. Like, and this, but now it's it's like iPhone 11 Pro. And then there's also yeah. the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is like Max is the oh, like least a... Apple terminology mm. you could ever yeah. think of, you know? It seems there's... like something you buy if you can't shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Max, I, like no. it. I mean, they called it the XS at one point. Uh, I mean, oh, I yeah. have the XS Max. See? Yeah. <laughs> It's I, just, it's wacky terms now. They're just like, yeah. lightning bolt. <laughs> mm -hmm. With the pro verbiage, I think they're selling an identity as well because they want you to think, okay, well, I'm not an amateur. I'm, a, I'm, I'm not a guy with just a smartphone that can mm -hmm. take pictures and you yeah. know post them online. Like, I'm a pro. I'm a young professional, a yuppie, and this is this is part of my work. This mm -hmm. is part yeah. of who I, I am. Own I own the DSLR. I need, I need the pro <laughs> because I need to have this level of technology behind my day to day. Yeah. It's kind of lean into like the um, Instagram semi pros and stuff like that. Yeah. Like this isn't sure. just me dicking around at the beach. This yeah. is work. This is work. That's Mom. why I got the one with the three lenses. Yeah, no, I I think you're 100 <laughs> like right. They're, they want you to buy into like, well, I do need the pro because I'm above, you know, with just Joe Schmo's <laughs> doing with their phone. I mean, well, I like, think it's it's kind of a part of their style. And yeah. Dick pig. Better than ever. And now a word from our sponsor. <laughs> How would you describe your look in one word? Mine would probably be um, hitman casual. It's a hyphenated word, but I think it counts. Um, but no matter how you describe yourself, Stitch Fix has an expert personal stylist that can help you look your best. Stitch Fix is an online personal styling service that delivers your favorite clothing brands right to your door. To get started, go to stitchfix.com slash dudesoup Answer some questions about your preferred style, and your personal shopper will ship you a box of clothes, shoes, and accessories. There's no commitment required, and you only pay for what you keep. Shipping, exchanges, and returns are always free. Plus, the $20 styling free is automatically applied towards anything you keep from your box. You'll never have to think about looking good again with Stitch Fix. So... Get started today at stitchfix.com slash dudesoup and get an extra 25% off when you keep everything in your box. That's stitchfix.com slash dudesoup, stitchfix.com slash dudesoup. Um, no, yeah, I, I completely agree. It definitely seems like they're selling an identity. It's just so funny. This is what they've always oh, done, so right? Funny. Okay. I mean, they, they've always been, ever since, ever since the Steve Jobs renaissance of the early 2000s, they've been masters at... I mean, even before that, to a degree, just weren't as good at it. They've always sold lifestyle and image over yeah, yeah. functionality mm -hmm. or it price. Just, it Are seemed you doing like your ad read? we do that. Oh, right, right, right. Oh my god, I'm just like sitting here waiting for you to do it. Um, like, I'm like, where? When's he gonna start? No. Sorry for we burned through it. That. We burned through it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's um, right. yeah, but I think the thing is, they've also diversified their products mm. so much too that that identity made sense when it was like, okay, well, you're you're not gonna buy your clothes from this place. Too. Yeah, too like you're not going to do all these things from this place it's just, card it's just you have your thing well, but now they have credit a credit card a credit card that they have chops broccoli they have, Why didn't they, Apple they have everything I, well yeah so it's i think it's a symptom of like they sold in as many they hit i could be wrong about this but i did some very light research a couple of years ago so this is already out of date but it does feel like to a degree they've sold iphones to the maximum amount of people that they can at least in america north america excuse me United States should be very should, should be specific. I, I've learned how crappy it is to refer to the United States as America because mm -hmm. it was actually anyway. Yeah, apparently um, Apple stuff's not super not as popular in the worldwide. Rest of the world. yeah, yeah, it's like South Korea and Japan. Um, yeah. Well, South Korea actually is wrong because they have Samsung, but uh, 
So it's like they they have good programs now to keep people buying new hardware every year. But I don't. I think they found the market cap there, and businesses are never satisfied to plateau in terms of their user base. So it's like, okay, what else can we get them on? Watches. Now we got to push watches. Mm. And then after a certain point, they're going to have watches in as on as many wrists as they're going to get, mm-hmm. no matter what their marketing or or their price points are. And then they'll have to move on to the next thing, which is controlling payment systems. So Apple yeah. Pay, get people on Apple Card, then starting your own bank, and then we're in Mr. Robot territory, pretty full stop. Yeah, I mean, I think I think at least with technology, they can always bank on the fact, no pun intended, that it will be worthless. There's a turnover someday. Right? Like yeah. like Adam's grandfather's watch probably ran well after Adam's grandfather did. Is he not dead, right? There's still a lot. One of them's dead. Yeah. Well, that one. <laughs> yeah. The watch still goes. But if he had an Apple Watch, it probably wouldn't. It would probably die out. And so I think part of it is mm. there is a certain, we've done the math to see the lifespan of these products. So as long as we can keep them in our ecosystem, then they'll have to buy the next one the next time. And then that mm. way you're looking at 100 years of revenue as opposed yeah. to just five. I'm know? in the Pixel family, but I recently had to replace my phone because it just decided it was no longer going mm-hmm. to work. Like I was not in the market. I was not mm-hmm. planning to get a new phone anytime soon. I would have. You also have static discharge, I think. You just phones die around you. You don't drop them. Mm -hmm. You don't break them. They don't get wet. You keep them safe, but they just die. You you emit a field of some sort. Yeah, you just wear socks in the house and just constantly just (laughs) run over carpet as much as you can. Going, what's wrong with this thing? Um, But yeah, yeah, I I was not in the market for it. But then I was like, oh geez, I mean, I've had this phone for like two years, maybe. Mm -hmm. Now I've Mm -hmm. I've forced my hand that I need to replace it. Omar, Mm -hmm. are you gonna get the the three thousand dollar phone? Uh, I mean, not the three thousand dollar one, but out. I'm gonna well, be on. I'm I mean, gonna you don't want sixty four gigs of storage, though. No, that's not gonna record all three four K lenses. You just finance it podcasts. through Apple Pay or four K sixty video. Take out a home loan while you do it. Buy an Apple house. Buy an Apple car. Upgrade Get your Apple iCloud. dog. You're joking now, but uh, we're definitely not too far off. I know. When we stop, when humanity stops being able to have affordable real estate. And then corporations step in and go, we've got a plan. That's You could just, and they just build buy a cubes. house in the middle of nowhere. Easy. You can buy a lot of dirt out in the middle of Arizona for like mm-hmm. $60,000. Mm-hmm. But That's my cool. Apple Watch won't get reception out there. Ooh. That's the problem. <laughs> That's a problem. That is yeah. a problem. I don't yeah. know. Adam's it's, dead hey. grandfather watch still works in Arizona, though. I, that, yeah. He think he did die in Arizona. Good guess. Yeah. It wasn't a guess. Old people love oh, him. Oh, I had a yeah. vision of him dying on the battlefield and the clock still works. In Arizona? No, no. He, yeah, he was There's in a Costco the, in Arizona. gets real raunchy. He was in the Korean War, I think. Ah, uh, I forgot yeah. more. One yeah, of the fun ones. Yeah. <laughs> Good, time. Good time war. I didn't know him very well. He, he gave us first blood. He died when I was young. And yeah. now leading up to last blood. So close the book on that one. Was that Rambo? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rambo was... Vietnam, I think, but Pat- Patrick Dennehy's character, not all people know this because nobody listened to the director's commentary. Mm. Uh, Brian Dennehy's character was a Korean vet, and that's why he hated Rambo so much because he was resentful that all the Vietnam vets got all the attention and the Korean War vets didn't get any. There you go. Way to take it for the Things team. turned out so Dennehy. well for Vietnam War veterans. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> all the par- uh. Remember the parade they threw for them when they came back? Yeah. <laughs> there was no... Beat Nicks booing them, yeah, no. throwing trash at them, to a site. calling them baby killers. They were killers. sent to a place that they didn't care about yeah. to f- fight a war that they mm. didn't pick, and yeah. then the heroin addiction back they into a Take it up with the director's that. commentary track. I, All right, I, will. I think yeah. the African Americans made out the best. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, clearly they were even at an even greater disadvantage. I, no, She's we'll right. just let. I mean, we'll just let that. <laughs> Black Panther was a really we good. We could movie. just snip that. And just throw that oh, out there without geez, any context. Okay, all right. Well, I was trying to make a political statement. They got the there, iPhones now. What everyone's, it? it's every, he it's sipped an, his water. You looked at me funny. Even you playing did, whatever field. Whatever you're doing over it's here. even playing field because <laughs> of the iPhone up, please, Pro Max <laughs> Mini. Killmonger no, is great. I don't, yeah. Killmonger. I don't, I, I would like Apple to, to let, I mean, they'll never do this, but it'd be cool if iMessages was available on other platforms, whatever. Like, yeah, I'll. Yeah, any amount of open anything. You know what drives me insane? What's that? I hate it more than anything. When people like and love him. Yes. Oh that my you god. Can, that you can. Em- have you had this experience? Oh my god. Oh, it took me a second to understand. Who is, who's who is on iMessage? You they have the ability message. on theirs, their end, to just go like, oh, that's cool. Well, instead of responding like a human being, I'm just going to hit a check mark or whatever, like yeah. whatever thing or smiley face. Well, and on their end, they yeah. see this fun little feed of messages on my end it's a thousand messages <laughs> what's written out yes, because yeah. it's a so and so liked this message and then it resends the uh, yeah, message yeah. it's my, my message 
and then quotations around the entirety of my message yeah. with their response and whatever they were feeling at that moment. That was yeah. way easier to do than actually respond. When so. I first got one of those notifications on my phone, I didn't know that it was an Apple thing. Mm-hmm. And I was like, is this yeah. person fucking stupid? Well, they like, they, like, when they go, liked. Yeah. yeah. And you go, Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone, because I remember explicitly the first time too. It's it's basically R911. The first time you get one of those. <laughs> I thought 911 was R911. Yeah. No, no, absolutely I had, not. I had one of those. It's the first time you're not on iMessage and somebody sends you a dick ass message it. on iMessage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was, I think I was on the toilet and it's like, you know, in anime when somebody's eyes just go black, mm-hmm. that's exactly what happened. I was like, I never want to talk to this person again. I think what bothers me most, I don't like on their end, they have no idea. Most people that I've spoken to are like, I had no idea I was doing, I was putting you under my like, heel in well, such like, a way. Like group but, messaging, how it's like, always been garbage on Android, but oh, they figured it out on WhatsApp just, and a million other the, things. The so. thing that drives me crazy is that the people on iMessages end knew that was going to happen. They developed it knowing that was going oh, to happen. Someone just, could have stopped it. That's how they It could have ended it. there. You could have just had this, phone, this one application mm-hmm. where you press your thing, you're like, I like that message, and that could have been the end of it. But the developers, on iMessage's end, because said no. It's advertising to the Android that user. Won't be, that won't be the end of this conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Send them the worst thing they've ever received. Well, it's like, yeah. it's like the, it started with the email thing, or you know, sent from my iPad, or oh, sent yeah. from one of my many iPads. Shut Whatever up. The, what was the right, it, was, it was the 30 Rock joke. It was like, <laughs> this email was like, sent from one of my three yeah, iPads. Sent from, sent from my pacemaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's, yeah, I'm like, Cool. Well, iMessage did something it. similar where back in the day there was like a text limit on an SMS message. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With And if you were on iMessage, you never knew that. So you just bash yeah. out this long ass scribe and send it to somebody. Mm-hmm. But if it was going to an SMS recipient, it would just cut it off. Yeah. And it wouldn't tell you anything. Yeah. It would just chop it off. So I remember getting one message from like a million years ago, Billy, I was yelling at him for not doing some shit. Mm. And he just sent me this message back and it like chopped off halfway through and I was like, I don't even care. Like whatever you had to say, I don't care about. <laughs> there could so. be like really dire situations, emergency <laughs> situations where the message gets cut off though. Mm-hmm. Could be. And they don't tell you. That's, they don't tell you that that's the best Apple yeah. ad you could ever do or where yeah. someone's like, they're in, they're in a burning building and like send help and it's really long and it's like, I was doing this and this and this and that I did, and now I'm on fire. I'm in this location, but the other half doesn't say. He's like, "Do you want to kill your family member by yeah. an iPhone?" <laughs> or it's the last step to find the treasure. How Let many me pose a scenario west? where everyone gets <laughs> what they want. At me. I want to talk to Lawrence. Okay. So what I do is I walk over to a device that has one thing on like hooks here, and then I take that thing and I hold it up to my ear and I talk into the other thing yeah. that's there, and I go. Patch me through to Lawrence, please. And then a young woman on the other end goes, patching through. And then she takes the plug out of the thing that says James Wilms and plugs it into the thing that says Lawrence. And then Lawrence gets, he goes to the other thing and maybe he has to wind it. I don't Mm -hmm. know. (laughs) Maybe a booth next to him rings. As he's walking down the street, he goes, aha. And he walks into the booth, closes (laughs) the door, pulls the thing off, holds this to his ear, speaks into the little (laughs) hole. and goes, hello. And I go, they go patching you through, and then and then it goes comes to me patching back to Lawrence now. <laughs> go, Lawrence, and you're like, hey, and I'm like, I like that, and then we hang up the phone and we move on. Oh, Straighten my hat, just my tie. Just do that. Pick okay. up my briefcase. I was unaware of this, but it, I guess uh, <laughs> in the U.S. we're still in the dark ages in terms of texting. Yeah, because like we still use SMS, which no one else uses. Which is, use it's mostly MMS now. Everyone uses what? Like yeah. the rest of the world uses WhatsApp yeah. or. Um, Telegram, Twitter, I think DM, dog. Um, yeah, or uh, a lot of people use Facebook Messenger now. Well, Gross. a lot of people yeah. probably use like Sureway or Shushe or oh, something well, like you know, like something that we don't know what it is. Uh, but that's yeah. probably what most human beings use. Yeah. So, anyway, we're we're the problem. Twitter DM group message. Get a lot of good get a lot of good memes that way. Okay. And that's how I communicate. So I have an Instagram group message. Lord of the Rings memes. Coming up this November, it's gonna be a year strong. <laughs> Every day. You guys, what do you guys have planned? Flowing. I don't know. We'll probably I'll pick our favorite meme oh, of the year nice. or something. That's really nice. That's cool. Are you gonna throw like a Lord of the Rings meme party? Do they still dip I can't back into make it? <laughs> I'm also busy. Yeah. You guys aren't in the group. Don't act like you. So, do they do they still do the one does not walk, merely walk into Mordor memes? No, we don't really touch the or the invent a catapult kind of thing. I can show Remember you, that? I can tell you. Talking it's about the, a catapult? No, they have, it's the uh, go on like 
Was it? Keep it, your secrets. Keep your secrets. Oh, that's, that's the, the fresh one. ones, yeah. Uh, that, but that's that came and went already. It I did, found right. And now I actually too. I enjoyed that one where it's like someone remember and my ex. Remember that? So oh yeah. The most recent meme from today was my family when they see me coming out of my room for the family gathering, and then it's Gandalf saying, "Go back to the shadow." Okay. Ah, I got it. So it's literally just digging through the movie for some sort of line of dialogue well, that you applies make it to this particular scenario. Yeah, you make it appropriate you're sort for of modern age. We don't make them. We just find them and repost them. It's a timeless, right. it's a timeless movie. Yeah. Well. yeah. Listen, you don't own it. The hey, world owns it. Speaking of timeless movies, before we talk about Nintendo, which we will talk about Nintendo, I just want to really quick touch on one topic. Joker mm. won the Golden Lion. What is that? At the Venice Film Festival. What it's is the that? highest, the greatest acclaim. It's the, that was is it voted on by a... <laughs> it's the Academy Award of, of Venice Film Festival. How is it awarded? Do you, like, where, is there like they a group judge, of... They have like judges. Oh, okay. I All right, guess. cool. I don't know. I think it's mostly... People seem to like the Joker. It's, it's in Venice, right? The the beautiful city that's like... Yeah. Right next to the beach. Yeah. The, these are the only movies they've ever seen. Oh, Schwarzenegger's <laughs> pumping Yeah, that, it's like that and Roman Polanski's movies because it's the only place he can go to show them. Yeah. It's true. And he gets a whatever. They, it's always something weird. It's like, they, he, the movie, the Joker had a standing ovation for three and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah. They're like, okay. Well, that's just, I'd love to be part of that duel. Of like people's people's ankles are swelling up. Mm. Their hands are getting red. And and everybody's looking around <laughs> looking for the first person who's going to stop because they're the one who likes cinema the least. Yes. True. And you're going to kick them out next year. Mm -hmm. So no one, it's, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. always weird movies. Because I, I think... <laughs> One year or something like Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice yeah. had a 15 minute standing up. It's like, what? Won the silver tear yeah. at the <laughs> Bosnia Herzegovina <laughs> Film Festival. It's like, uh, it's like those crappy Chevy ads when they're always like, JD Power, uh, oh, yeah. so Power and Associates. Who, who's JD Power yeah, and Associates? Yeah, yeah. I've never heard of them. I, I always thought it, if if I made a movie in the trailer, I would just part make part of the marketing design that. There would be Reeves. I've like seen that two though. Reeves, oh, yeah. and they would just say things in them. That absolutely mm -hmm. has already happened. Like I've seen several like trailers for indie movies that. Uh, no, because that's too self-aware. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. actually yeah. seen indie movies that say like, like coming twenty eighteen, but put the Laurel Reeves around yeah, it, so yeah, it looks yeah. like it won an award or something sure. like that. Yeah, it's amazing. Why don't you just make a movie called Reeves, <laughs> or it's like <laughs> Tom's yeah. Movies dot com pick yeah. of the year, and they put the like fucking Reeves around it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I do it. think I that it. sometimes at like those early screenings, those those debut screenings, people are afraid to criticize them. They're afraid to criticize the movie. Mm -hmm. They're afraid to because to Joaquin praise, Phoenix to is there. Mm -hmm. Well, they just watching you watch the movie. Some people don't actually know if something's good or not, and so they're like, I, you if know, the, the, they don't hmm, have the public con right. like if consensus. If I was to watching Suicide Squad in the theater and the actor who played was sitting right El next Diablo to you. or whatever was sitting yeah. right next to me, I probably would have told him I thought it was good. Sure, yeah. Well, but I would fair. have been lying just to get away. Yeah, because yeah. he might, your, he <laughs> might set you on fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll ah. beat you up in, a, in the parking lot of LA I, Stadium or something. I like that. I guess that's happened <clears throat> to me a couple times too. I think all of us, right? We've gone to like an early screening of a movie or whatever, and then I remember perfect example. I saw the hit film Lucky Number Eleven before anyone else. That movie was good. I thought it was okay, and I was like, oh, I really I enjoyed it. I think people will like this movie. Can't bombed. No one cared about it. I just I came and awesome. went. I watched it oh, at just home. Just because right? it bombed doesn't necessarily mean you were wrong. I, I don't. Like, I don't think criticism. anyone had anything nice to say about it. Same with yeah. like uh, Sky Captain World Tomorrow. Like, oh no, that movie was bad. Yeah, but like when I saw the previews for that, I was like, there, there was an. I just read an article about. It. That's also why I'm thinking about it. Where they're like, those guys are so legitimately bummed how that movie got handled because they were like they pitched it as a three million dollar movie, and the studio was like more, 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 more. Was Get Sky Jude Captain? Law. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Sky Captain. Because yeah. they, they, well, he's like they, making it in his garage. Yeah, it was like just one dude who's interested in that technology, mm -hmm. who was like, "Oh, I really like these throwbacks," and so yeah, it's like yeah. it's just making a thing as a garage, and they were like, "Yeah, exactly." Yeah. Like studio was like, T "Spend all of this money, because, like, Brewster's millions." This because they're like the guy who says he's like, "Well, if we had kept the budget what we wanted at three million dollars, and then the movie came out and only made made seventy, they're like it would have been one of the biggest hits of all time." <clears throat> like that's like Blair Witch money in that regard, mm -hmm. but because. They put Jude Law in it and uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, Gwyneth Paltrow and uh, Angelina, Angelina Jolie and all these, Jeez. and they just showed up on a blue screen with an eye patch and went, "Where, where's my mark? What, <laughs> there? Is that what? Ju is that going to be Jude Law?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, then, yeah, that's so. Jude Law. <laughs> so that that basically is funny because that that was like their dream, and then it killed. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing that movie, and being like, people are going to flip over this movie. It's not that great, but it's the, it looks so cool, and then it 
fucking the it bombed and, is now. and ruined those guys. I think like brothers' careers. It made sense like, for the studios because uh, they were treating that like this. If this works, and we never have to pay a construction crew, and thusly a construction union ever again to build a set, do you imagine how free we will be? Like, <laughs> I think sometimes studios do that where they're like, they're like, yes, this will be this if we. The actors don't even have to be there at the same time. Can you imagine what that will do for scheduling? We'll save so much money. Mm. But it turns out mm. it worked for play. episode two. It did work for episode it, two. It, yeah, made money. Yeah, did make You're money. right. I think <laughs> they had. I think that was a tainted experiment, though, because it was the second of his Star Wars trilogy. And it holds up. Years. Yeah, that's yeah. the best. Part. That's the most important part. It'll never it holds age. up. Great. Yeah, will never age. I think about Dex in my dreams. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. <laughs> I can't breathe when I'm around you. Is that what he says? I forget the lines. Pretty much, yeah. I don't know. It's just, yeah. I love episode two. Well, in all the wrong ways. If you love episode two, that means you're into stuff that's really cool. And if you love stuff that's really cool, you should definitely check out Box of Awesome from Bespoke Post. It's time to take your summer to a whole other level and upgrade your life with a new seasonal box of awesome collections from Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post sends guys only the best stuff every month. So whether you're looking to rule the pool or lounge in style with some trop something tropical in hand, Box of Awesome has you covered with carefully built collections for every part of your life. For example, uh, I was digging through some of their available collections and the first one that caught my eye was a sleek minimalist wallet kit and I thought, yeah, that seems pretty on brand. But then I noticed a custom guacamole making kit so you can still expect to be surprised. To get started, take the quiz at boxofawesome.com your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome for you. There's new boxes every month, and each box only costs $45, but includes over $70 worth of gear. So get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code DUDE, that's D-U-D-E, at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code DUDE for 20% off your first box. That was a pause for Joker, right? Oh, that there. was my yeah. clap. That was this, uh, <laughs> my Joaquin Phoenix. It you, may, it might be good. I'm just gonna avoid everything. I feel like all of this reaction to it is happening too soon. You have to now. I have to navigate this for a whole month before I even see it, before it even comes out. Yeah. I definitely Knives. want to go into a blind. Sorry. Oh yeah. no, I was just gonna say Knives Out got an incredible reaction at TIFF. Yeah. But Boy. from that trailer, I would not have. I mean, I would have been like, hopefully this is good. Is it I'm, wrong that Ryan Johnson makes my skin crawl? <laughs> What? I didn't oh, like that's Brick. Weird. That's it, fine. There's yeah. so many of his movies seem like the ultimate of style over substance. Mm. Really? You didn't like Looper? He's no. Oh, okay. So he's a man who builds his own worlds, which is I think mm. part of the reason that Last Jedi <clears throat> is so divisive, mm -hmm. and also part of the reason I was surprised that he was making a Star Wars movie that was the second in a series in a trilogy. <laughs> because yeah. like I, I get what you're saying, but like all of his movies are like. Wait, you just made this world to just make this one thing and then move on to the next thing? Mm -hmm. But you put so much effort into this. Like, you didn't care that much about the plot, but you put so much effort yeah. into this world in a lot of cases. What if things were morally like, gray in the Star I, Wars universe? But then they're not. I, yeah, but that's also yeah. fundamentally not Star Wars. So, you yeah. know, wrong place to be asking those questions, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I am hopeful for Knives Out. Well, I, I, I really too. like, yeah. I I like was, whodunits. I like Brick. Yeah. I, do like, I do like Brothers Bloom a lot. It's very stylistic, though. Um, and Looper, I was like, man, I'm so into this. But then the second half of it, yeah, I'm I like, like half of Looper. Yeah. Well, was so, like, well, Looper's weird because it it go it goes so hard on establishing the rules and trying to make this narrative work within mm -hmm. time travel and all that stuff. And then it's like, oh, also psychic powers. And I'm just like, what? Is it, why did you spend all that time like drilling down into the practicalities of this one aspect mm -hmm. just to go full on like fantasy ridiculous with rain, this other one? The Rainmaker. Yeah, and yeah. and I get it. Like that stuff seeded throughout the narrative, and then there's a payoff at the end. It just seems Starship, tonalistically. Starship Troopers kind of had something like that, where they're like, you know, you're a bug killer or you're a psychic, and yeah, we want you. I, I felt that way about the Prestige. I still love the movie, but I, I did that. feel that way about the Prestige, where mm -hmm. it's a movie all about the illusion. Mm -hmm. And nothing is ever what it seems. And then they build a cloning teleporter. I guess for me, and the I'm human like, drama still <laughs> works independent of that. I mean, I love it. I love the movie. But even watching yeah, it, I, I go, I go. it's weird that we spend so much explaining how much effort people like, oh, he holds a ball between yeah. his legs for uh, 20 years <clears throat> just so that we can do this one trick with I, an ace of spades. I just, I always and then wanted, the other guy goes like, Tesla, build me a teleporter cloner. Yeah. And he goes, got it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, always, I always wanted that part where he goes, he's like, I did. I did. I figured it out. And he's like, I just have a twin. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you're like, you, you did what? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's it's 
Yeah. It, it's like someone, I don't know. It's like your uh, Apple conference <clears throat> sketch idea. That someday we, we might get around no, to it. No, we've pitched it in two, <laughs> two whole Sick. many episodes of Arizona it's Circles. never happened. relevant right now. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Right it's, now. It's, well, can we make it today? It turns out it's relevant once a year. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, um, maybe twice. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. Never happening. It, I'm interested. I think Knives Out I'm interested in because do you remember the trailer for uh, Murder on the Orient Express? Yes. Yeah. Did you ever see the movie? No. Because I, well, I saw the trailer. the trailer. It's not the trailer. That Imagine Dragon songs with a bunch of cool characters and mm-hmm. like Poirot's cool narration and it seems super stylized and everything. Nope. It's mostly just a train s- stopped in the snow and people talking and it's just one shot. Oh, you mean for the it's whole like thing. the book? Like the book it's based no, on. I'm well. It's you can adapt a book, obviously. Yeah, like you can. But put, I, no, no, no. I'm not trailer. arguing I wanted to be a you. damn nerd. And I'm read just books. saying, like the book is a very slow, mm. interrogative well, story. I again. And I'm no it's based Kenneth, around very slow conversations. I'm no Kenneth Branagh, and I would never claim to be. I couldn't make Thor one if I tried. But I do think that if you're approaching, <laughs> like, <laughs> if you're oh, approaching that stuff, like, and you want to adapt it, like, God, man, God. Please do something with the scene yeah. to make it feel like there's you would t- really kung have fu to, fights. Please to do a uh, Sherlock could punch people's kneecaps out. You have to do a very like just loose adaptation then yeah, because that's... the book is well, just like slow again, conversations I mean, between. He licked Poirot a rock and, and then he punched the some guy in the neck. My hope is that Knives Out is that kind of film though. Sure, that Knives Out is the kind of film that. Uh, Murder on the Orient Express is Imagine Dragons trailer thought it was going to be. But it purported to be by using that song. You, no. It should. Imagine dragons should be more careful with who they, they let use that song. They should. Why, why do they just they they, 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 they stamp the check and take it done? Yeah, they don't care. They should read the script. They're the smartest band in the world. All they ever do is write music that can appear in trailers. They're New Green Day. They just like get their. Did Green Day do that? I feel like Green Day. Green Day wrote songs for like Good Riddance is the most graduation song ever written. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. These kids are gonna graduate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Song. Girl, I don't do you, know how to do can you imagine like, how vitamin C right. must have felt when she when she wrote graduation? She's like, please land. And some executive was like, we should drop this in December. And she was like, no, <laughs> <laughs> it has to be June. <laughs> please. Oh uh, uh, well. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's get to the let's get to the heart of the heart of the discussion. We've got we've got about half the show left or so. Don't yell at me in the comments um, for not liking Ryan Johnson. I'm sorry. I can't I can't change who yeah, I am. It's okay to I not just like things. That's fine. Yeah, like your reasoning is sound. Yeah. In my opinion. I don't it's fine. Don't I, yell at me for agreeing with it. It doesn't affect <laughs> don't drag me into this. Yeah. No um, one everyone likes Nintendo. This will be an easy yeah, This, this be is an ball, easy right? one. Something everyone can agree on. Nintendo. Uh, last week was the Nintendo Direct. So they're September Nintendo. What do they do it once a month now? No, it's just once kind of whenever. Quarterly, whenever it's not they even feel anything. like it, whenever they yeah. get out of fucking bed. Um, Lawrence and I were talking about it earlier, and it's it's great. It's fun how they play by their own rules, like into when it comes to marketing, because they can do stuff that I feel like is way harder to do when E3 has determined your timeline mm-hmm. of events. So there are some things that they announced here that like. They probably had ready. I mean, they yeah, were. they could have announced. So, the, but the fact that a YouTube video goes up and you're watching the YouTube video or the stream or whatever, and they're like, "By the way, a Kirby game you can get it now." And you're like, "Oh, oh, it's a Kirby game now!" <laughs> like, that's fun stuff that you can do. That probably also puts less stress on their development team to get it done on a timeline that they didn't set. Mm-hmm. And I think it's really cool. Um, I watched the whole thing, and I'm going to put this out here, and we can discuss it. But I think console gaming... It's like the beginning of Nights I think out. console gaming is very, very <laughs> strong right now. And I think the Nintendo Switch might be hmm. the best console of all time. <gasps> I think it might be. Brave. It's a brave, it's a brave statement. It's hmm. a bold one. I expect people to disagree. It's fair. That's okay. okay. But watching this and seeing the kind of stuff that's coming, it makes me want to play games and it makes me want to play all of it. And it makes me feel like I would be satisfied with everything. Like Overwatch, it's it's a harder core game. Mm-hmm. Like it's a shooter. It's something serious. I'm playing on a Switch is probably the absolute worst version of it. I was probably. gonna say, you're telling me you would prefer to play Overwatch on the Switch. It's not about PC. preferring, it's about the option too. Yeah. I think that's what's that's what's so crazy. Number one, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna play Overwatch anywhere else when I have $200 of loot 
boxes and skins <laughs> sunken into <laughs> one version. Brag. So unless any of that carries over, then but like yeah. if if it was the kind of thing that carries over, it's like yeah, I could see myself maybe like picking up the game and playing a round or two. One, well, if something. it comes to console, gyro aiming is really good, mm -hmm. really good. Uh, I if it were between like PlayStation Four, Xbox One, or Switch. For a first-person shooter that has gyro aiming provided defaults running at 60 FPS, I would prefer the Switch. Because mm -hmm. Splatoon really trained me up on it, and it works really, really well. Mm -hmm. You have almost, I wouldn't say mouse-style precision because you still can't turn quickly. Yeah. But you can absolutely hit stuff a lot easier than a finicky like yeah. analog stick. So that counts yeah. for a lot for me. But just the fact that it's there, yeah. that yeah. it's available on this thing that can fit in my giant cargo pant <laughs> pockets. There are a lot, they're, they're also doing a really, really good job of selecting indies to come to yeah. Nintendo Switch like the return of Oberdin, yep. that announcement that's mm -hmm. a great game for yep. the Switch creature in the well that just came to the Switch I don't know how much you guys have seen of this game but like it's kind of like it's like if Hyperlight Drifter sort of met pinball Sonic spinball oh version. yeah 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 you're and, in the like, little um, platform in the middle and you have to hit the balls around yeah, it uh, yeah it's like the, like the levels just have pinball elements throughout them but like these are games that you're are optimal for the Switch mm -hmm. like I don't think there's a better console that fits them and so it seems like Nintendo's also like, well, we're not going to try to get, you know, Rage 2 to come to the Switch. We're going to find games mm -hmm. that make most sense on our mm -hmm. platform. It's really weird. It's like, <clears throat> you know, they'll, they'll do like an announcement. They're like, oh, by the way, Saints Row the third. Like, wait, not the fourth one? No. Eh. Second yeah. one? No. Third. Yeah. The third one. Uh, are you gonna are you gonna put Dark Forces on there? Yeah. The third one. Yeah. Then they Which throw one? a Jedi flaming yeah. playing card and wait, leave. Yeah. Dark Forces 2 did it? No, no, no. No. Jedi Knight 2 Dark. Yeah. Jedi Outcast. Well, yeah. What? Dark, yeah. That one. Dark Forces Jedi Knight. <laughs> Dark Jedi Forces Outcast. 3, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast. It does feel like, <laughs> like you know, they have a bunch of JRPGs yeah, and stuff. I haven't played a JRPG in a very, very long time, but I'm like, well, I guess if Dragon I think about Quest. it. What? Uh, Dragon Quest Eleven. That game's fantastic. It's oh. coming to Switch. It's going to be better. Well, you can play an 8, 16-bit uh, well, mode. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, the only way in my life I could ever see something like that fitting in is not me sitting down somewhere and going, yeah. Let's play a JRPG. For 120 it would be like, hours. It'd be like, I'm going to be on the shitter for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. so maybe I should bring my Switch. Which or I'm going to be on the plane. Persona or... 5. Like, everyone's been waiting for that. Yeah. This is premier JRPG of 2018. The, the last game that I beat was Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Mm. Oh, yeah. And uh, it was only because it was on the Switch, and I didn't yeah. even like it. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's not a good so, game. Uh, I played it for like five minutes, and I'm like, I'm done with PlayStation So games. I and, and I almost played it more yesterday. Like, I just like... By nature of it being on that switch, I'm like, it's great. Let's go for it. Astral like, Chain, I think, is the better version. When of that. we, when, I, I'm also interested in that yeah, too. Same. When we were first talking about before, what was the code name for the switch? It was like uh, I forget because we were we. I remember. That's a good question. I'm trying. I can't remember. Years oh, the ago, NX. Oh yeah, the NX. Mm. Yeah. That's right. When we were covering it, and they were talking about how it had a bunch of different functionality. It never ended up shipping with. Whereas like. If you dock yours and your entire apartment complex docks theirs. Yeah, they talked about the, cloud computing. Yeah, the, it will cloud graphically like push the games. Mm -hmm. It never did. But they did the modular thing. Yes, yeah. they, they had the modular thing. And then when they talked about, oh, it's a console that you can take with you. I remember being like, oh, my God, if they can figure that out, that's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. And they did. They finally made a portable console. And it's, yes, totally get it. It's not as powerful as Xbox One X or uh, PlayStation 4 Pro. Not even close. But it's got the games. They also they pick yeah. the game. They pick their games well. Yes. Overwatch will probably look mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. Like okay. I, I turned down the settings on my game because I want it to performance wise run better. Yeah. So like I'm not even playing Overwatch in the most beautiful, but it's designed to just kind of look good anywhere. It, Fortnite is designed yeah. to look good anywhere, and those are the kinds of games that they pick. Style and over so, fidelity. Yeah. So, they don't have to worry about whether it looks realistic on the yeah. Switch. I, yeah. I played. I, cool. I played all of. Uh, Legend Breath of the Wild handheld mm, and yeah. at no Same. point was I like this is an ugly game this <laughs> game doesn't look good I was like this is one of the most beautiful games I've ever seen I think they're really good about I mean not necessarily picking things but it's just you will compensate you'll be okay with mm -hmm. some of the yeah. fidelity differences based off the games they release and then how you can play them I, I will say like the way those Guiji boys are glistening mm-hmm under the, the the light, they are sure yeah. children Super watching Odyssey's this show. Beautiful <laughs> game, yeah. Beautiful game, yeah. There, are, oh, yeah. there are occasionally Nintendo will have like one graphical effect that looks like it just doesn't belong in their weird child toy of a game. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember it was like I think it was Mario 3D World or one of those, uh, one of the DS Marios. At the very end, you go to Bowser's castle and it's raining, but there's like rolls of water coming down the castle and mm -hmm. it's all reflective and shiny. 
Which is like, why the fuck is this in this game? <laughs> Way at the end, or like the fuzzy bee ass in uh, Mario Galaxy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why does that look so good? Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. I don't know. Nintendo's good, dumb. Good, it's, good texture. Like artists. thinking yeah, about so, Nintendo's yeah. history, and it's funny because they kind they kind of acknowledge it. They were, it used to be it used to feel that they were all in on Nintendo, and they were like, we are leaving money on the table, and the Switch feels like the first time where they're like, we should try and get other stuff. We it doesn't oh, have to be controlled entirely games. by us. We can we can filter through that third party of what actually gets through, but we should try and get as much stuff through as possible. And I think the perfect example of that is like Terry Bogard in Smash. Oh yeah, it's like fucking cool. Like basically did a oh that whole announcement trailer was so a good commercial for Neo Geo yeah. during a Nintendo Direct. Well, and like King of Fighters actually had the whole like envelope invitation gimmick before Smash Brothers did. Mm -hmm. So for them to reference that in yeah. a very extended but art appropriate way, like they had the SNK art mm -hmm. and like uh that was so cool. It was super cool and super like, fun. Sakurai's a big meme lord, so of course it's like flipping through all these characters that almost get it but not quite. Mm -hmm. I, I thought for sure Geese was gonna be it. But. Even even in their like graphics for it, they said Smash Brothers and then Cross and then Fatal Fury. Mm -hmm. Like they put them on even ground. Hmm. And I'm like, is it gonna be are we talking about more stuff? Is more stuff happening with this? Are we doing more with Fatal Fury? Um, which is something that gets me really excited. It's weird. It just like taps into something. This... Are you going to play Luigi's Mansion 3? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It looks great. Who's probably gonna... play it by myself. Who's going to be Lou and who's going to be Goo? She'll probably want to be Gooigi. Yeah, look at her. <laughs> she's gooing in Because she's afraid of water. No. <laughs> You've thought I mean, about this. Also, it's something that I feel like we don't take advantage enough. Oh, At least I, but then also everyone here because we all own switches. Is like so many of these games are like, yeah, we throw in co-op mode. Yeah. It's like a, it's a Divinity Two original. Set. Yeah, co-op mode. Yeah, sure. Like, do I need an internet connection? No, just, nah. be, just yeah. be near the guy. <laughs> also, I've, you get a free copy if you play next to him. So it's like what? Never yeah, expressed that? interest in Animal Crossing before, but I was watching them talking about like the Animal Crossing Enchanted Isle, or you're like in a deserted island. It's the new Animal Crossing oh. that's coming out, and it was like it was like just yeah, just have. Have people over to your island and fish. <laughs> I'm like, that looks amazing. Like, this is some this, of that stuff I've in New Leaf. Never get into Minecraft, but I was like, oh, I, I do, I do want to invite Lawrence over to my tent. I'm gonna well, take Luigi's, a show him the stoop next to my fire pit. The Luigi's nice Mansion house. eight player. Yeah, mode. the Scream what? Park. Scream Park. Hmm. Scream Park. They announced it's I basically they're stuff. gonna put a Mario Party inside of Luigi's Mansion. What about um, um, Mario and Sonic go home? Mario and Sonic go to Tokyo. <laughs> is coming in November. I think we should figure out something. You're, to do you're with the that. bartender at the yeah. end of the night. Mario, Sonic, get out. But they oh, also, no, no, I'm just saying they go. They, to Japan. They're going back to Japan. Yeah. They're going back oh, home. I see what you're it's, it's they're back to the <laughs> yeah. roots where they're gotcha. going to take it back. Who will own it? The the blue hedgehog or the Italian plumber? Or maybe they're going to have to work yeah. together against a new threat because there is a story mode. <laughs> is there really? Yeah. Um, oh man, I don't. Know. That, well, I once. Did you see the? It has yeah. retro mode. Yeah. Oh yeah, it so actually looks like really old cool. Classic dumb retro video versions video of yeah. it. It looks so much. It makes me want to play games. And I think that like when I see it, I'm like, I might actually beat that. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel that about anything else. No ray tracing. Gay. Well, there's. I mean, there's obviously <laughs> stuff like that. Like I am also playing Gay control. Tracing. I am playing control right now. But <laughs> logging into Steam on my PC, which I love, mm -hmm. and love oh. having the option of having all things at my fingertips mm -hmm. forever and ever. Um, it's maybe too big. Maybe it. Maybe my brain, my monkey brain, is too small. You're, and you're playing control on PC, so you're playing yeah, through yeah. Epic Game Store. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. But so. I'm just saying, like, I, like my monkey you're brain hero, can't. When it looks at the universe, it doesn't understand. Hmm. It thinks that there mu there should be a lid there with holes poked in it. That makes more sense to my monkey brain. That's what looking at Steam is now. With the thousands and thousands of games, and most of it is not even a game. Most of them are experiments. Where were you just... playing Control? I was playing on PC. Okay. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I, I do want to play. I was it. like Nintendo. So like, yeah, Steam is is the Netflix sort of thing. It's 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 too much. Mm -hmm. Where you, you just see everything, and you're like, just I want something good. Nintendo, while it does have its fair share of garbage, it's more like a Criterion Collection or like an Alamo Draft House, where you're mm -hmm. like, like. I guess I should watch a movie about lions terrorizing a family, <laughs> like the uh, movie Roar. Oh, yeah. like, okay. Ryan what? Haley wanted us to go see it, and he's like, he's like, yeah, the lions actually attack people in the movie, and all the attacks that you see are real attacks that yeah. happen, and like 75 people got what, like what is Ryan into. What's, uh, who knows? Weird. What's the fire it? emblem? Houses? Game? Three houses? No, no, they, they, it was in the Nintendo Direct. It was like, 
E chorus, F sharp minor. Oh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Yes, yeah. Tokyo Mirage Sessions. <laughs> it's the port up sharp of the Wii U version. Something. Uh, yeah. Which, it was Tokyo Mar course. Mirage Sessions, like Sharp Fay or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's just words. Mm. It's just nonsense well, words. I mean, we're going to like, that in the Kingdom Hearts I would, Hearts probably, I would play that. I'd play that. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. That game's actually really good. Yeah. I mean, it, it has the persona duality of like, there's the daytime visual novel aspect if you make dumb decisions, except you're training to be a pop idol. Mm -hmm. So that's already way better. And then, yeah, you go into like, pop idol music musotopia dimension where yeah you summon fire emblem mm -hmm. stands to go and fight for you uh it's basically the perfect video game and and nintendo is gradually pulling anything of worth off the wii u and dropping it on the switch which all, also plays into the switch being very very mm -hmm. good yes because yeah. there, there were a few hidden gems in the wii u yeah pikmin Absolutely. 3 uh I still never i never got through uh, wind waker hd oh yeah kept starting it and then going like oh, I'm tired. it stalls out after a while yeah once you get into the wide open ocean it's very it have gotten there three or four times, and every single time that's where I stop because I'm like, I'm lost. What's the release for Link's Awakening? Is this, this November? Yes. What? Oh, wait, yeah. I thought it was September 27th. Wait, se September 20th is what <gasps> I wrote down in my notes. Yeah, real soon. No you can build your own chamber dungeons. Yeah. You can build your own dungeons and share I was, them with friends, which I was I'll never curious do. curious about sure. that because, like, Link's Awakening is not a big game. It was big for me when I was six mm -hmm. and couldn't wrap my head around it, but I yeah. did eventually beat it, which I think is a testament to how consumable that game is. So as an adult going back with my adult gamer skills, I feel like I could annihilate Link's Awakening in a couple of evenings. Well, I mean, Nin Nintendo's was really good and the Switch is really perfect for like going back and re-experiencing some old things. Yeah. Like I immediately downloaded the Super Nintendo yeah. app and I was like, oh, I should pay Super Ghosts and Goblins or Ghouls and Ghosts or whatever words they chose to use for that one. And I was like, but I hate that, I hate get that game. Why would I ever want to play that? <laughs> it's got good music. You can rewind, yeah. but it took me 20 minutes just to get through the first level. You um, wait for Maximo, it will be here one day. You guys remember Maximo? Yes, I do. It was the re-envisioning of ghosts and I ghouls and <laughs> ghouls and <laughs> goblins. tried so yeah. hard. I think, I, I mean, but like, Doom 64. Yeah. Like, I, it's, how long, or how far away are we from the 64? Like where mm. we can just start playing. I mean, they've got Turok, and there are a couple of N64 era ports. Despite what you think, I'm those cartridges forward, those, but I'm also still in the past. Those cartridges are big, but they didn't have a lot of space no, on no, them. Absolutely not. 64 megs, Meg, yeah, uh, megabits, I think. So yeah. maybe I could be wrong about that. And there were there were some supercharged N64 cards. I think like Ogre Battle 64 was a little bigger. Yeah, yeah. This is getting into dumb shit. You no can make you that. can make curry and poke in Pokemon now. <laughs> They God spent a good five minutes describing the new curry system. Everything's curry. So it's funny that you talk good. about this because uh, in a weird way, like we're, we opened talking about the Apple presentation and now Nintendo. It's, it's interesting how both have very clear value propositions. And it's like, if you want these things, just buy this thing. And then it's in and the path is very straightforward. Whereas, yeah, other people bristle at the idea that their options might be limited or hampered in any way, either by performance or by choice or modifications or mm -hmm. whatever. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like the, the same thing is still there, what you're talking about with PC. You mm -hmm. open Steam and you get assaulted with whatever dumb metagame they're running, and then they try to make you watch Dota 2 The International, and you're like, I don't want any of that. I yeah. just want to play Doom again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Every game is in VR. I mean, yeah. welcome. If, if <laughs> a stranger walked up to me on the street and then and asked me what console, how should I play video games, I would probably say you should get a Switch. It's got. It's I don't got, know anything about you, stranger. But mm -hmm. no matter what you're looking for, the Switch has good versions of it all, mm -hmm. which is not something you can really say about a whole lot of consoles. It doesn't have like a Horizon Zero Dawn, unless mm -hmm. you count Breath of the Wild, which you probably could. You could, yeah. yeah. But it's got racing. And I mean, I, I think like PlayStation's right now like the more mature console. I think it's got the. It's like, hey guys, games have grown up, yeah, and they, they all they all mm -hmm. have a. Either a young girl or a Games little boy following you. Cry you. Now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and don't get me wrong. Like I'm legit excited for Last of Us Two and whatever the next God of War is. Ghost or whatever of Tsushima on. and uh, I Death Stranding. Oh yeah, super excited for Death Stranding. Still don't know what it is, but I'm Piss like, game. yeah, but Piss. Um, Make yeah. Mushroom. And then yeah. I don't know. I'm excited for the next generation. If, just if see it, what they do. I will say this: if a stranger walked up to me on the street and said, "What kind of toothbrush should I get?" I would definitely say Quip. This episode of Dude Soup is brought to you by Quip. Simplify your morning and evening routines with a straightforward electric toothbrush from Quip. The lightweight, compact design provides sensitive sonic vibrations for an effective clean that's gentle on your gums. Did you realize that up to 90% of brushers don't brush for long enough or often favor one section of their mouth over the other? It's true, but with Quip's built-in two-minute timer, you'll be reminded every 30 seconds that it's time to switch sides, ensuring an even clean. Also, brand new brush heads are delivered automatically on a dentist-recommended three-month schedule for just $5. 
My Quip toothbrush provides me with all the benefits of a full-sized electric toothbrush in a package that's half the size, no bulky chargers, no old worn out brushes that you still, and you still get fresh, healthy smiles. That's why Quip's great and why it's perfect for getting back into a routine. Quip starts at just $25, and if you go to getquip.com slash dude right now, you can get your first refill pack for free. That's your first refill pack at G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash D-U-D-E. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just time. I'm, I'm really, Nintendo makes me excited for Nintendo. And I like I like watching press conferences. I like when we all sit together and watch E3 press conferences and stuff. But yeah. like I still am like, I'm like, I hope I'm surprised by this. But Nintendo's Direct, which is just a video that doesn't have any fanfare and just showing you shit. Mm-hmm. It makes me excited. Yeah, so when was, was like, the last time you were excited by a trailer like that? Uh, Orange Midnight Express. Express. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> that was your cat segment, but... Oh. Uh, what? Oh, well, that's... that. Do we have time for cats? Oh, excuse me, how sorry. dare you? Right. Don't look. Sorry. Um, yes, of course we have time for cats. Let's roll that. It's time for cats. <laughs> I love it. It's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> <And> the cat. <laughs> Yeah, so okay, it um, hangs. Yep. it's great. It, yeah, everything about it. How far away from uh, excited? How many how many days away? How many days away? Yeah, it comes out Christmas. So. How many how many minutes? I would say I, I'll just say this. <laughs> this is the second uh, second segment of Countdown to Cats. We'll probably get to ten or twelve before the movie is released. Okay, how many cats? but there are only I want to there are less than ten cats in Cats, correct? So right no. now, what? 106 me? days until Christmas. Yeah, you kidding me? Oh no, there's, a, there's like 50. No. I thought there were only like five or, or like seven or eight songs of characters that have their moment. Well, there's big to... songs, yeah, but there's characters there's, that just toil around in the background. Cat, cats came play with up. Trash. I, I did one of my like random Wikipedia dives where I'm like, I'm interested in this one thing. I was looking up that play Chess. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it has that one song. Mary one, Head. Yeah, One Night in Bangkok, and I was always like. What is this from? And I was like, oh, it's a play. Mm-hmm. I was reading into it, and I think I was telling you this about the other day. I was like, it came, Cats came up because like uh, Lloyd Andrew Lloyd uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber was supposed to work on chess, but he was too busy with cats and the success that it had overtaken. But then it's like, but also chess was pretty popular too. I was yeah. like, I don't. This is but a world I don't understand. The best thing about cats yeah. is that they've asked Andrew Lloyd Webber about it more recently, and he's like. Eh. Oh, he's he's not, lukewarm on it, and it seems like it's exactly his wheelhouse. But like Starlight Express. Without, mm-hmm. Well, in an effort to yeah. prepare everyone here yeah. and out there for cats. It's a noble goal, but impossible. Because well, cats uh, is going to hit you like a brick no matter what. I agree, oh. Lawrence, but I'm going to do what I can regardless. You're a hero, thank you. I'm like a Christian thinking that I'm going to get into heaven by signing up more souls, but there's yeah. so many souls in this earth. It's kind of selfish. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I making this about me? <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I have a, uh, a, a continuation of the quiz from yes. last time to help familiarize us with cats. Last time it was purely a guessing game about characters from the film. Yeah. I would show you a character or the musical or what any interpretation of it. I would show you a character and then you would have to guess the name. Mm-hmm. There is some of that here because there's many more characters that we need to familiarize ourselves with before we even get there, like Jenny Any Dots, who is not featured in this quiz. Um, but there's also more to this as well. There's some trivia, maybe a true and false. Okay. So this is this is good. Now we're just building our knowledge base. So okay. Omar, let's let's take us in. Let's show us the first the first one. Oh, roll it up. Good. Great. Okay. Spent, spent a whole weekend on that. All right. Oh. This is our first cat. <laughs> uh, what is, is this? this male, male or female? I will. So I'll give Can't you. Tell. This is this to start uh, this, us off. There's light hitting the screen. To, oh, okay. to start us off, yeah. let me just specify that there are two right answers. I thought this would be an easy one to start out because this cat does have two names, depending on when you've seen the musical and where. Okay. Uh, I think the answer is right in front of us. This is the beloved character, Coke Nail. Coke Nail. Oh, yeah. Okay. Great. That's Great guess. I was gonna say it's human hands. <laughs> human hands. I see. <laughs> because everything's cat, but the hands. Is that hands uh-huh. with a Z? I'm, yes. I also appreciate that. The, clearly, the actor chose to grow out their nails. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Probably absolutely. not requested. But only one 
That, and well, I guess the pinky nail grows faster than, than say, the thumb. I think they, they grow faster. How long do you think I can get thumb? my nails by the time but, Cats comes out? Well, as I was saying to Adam, Hughes you have length. 106 days until the movie comes out. Oh, oh yeah. you did the math? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, cat, I just looked it up. You oh. cat it up? Yeah. All right. Um, oh, God, is that, I forget the cat's name. T.S. Eliot? Well, <laughs> that's a great guess. Okay. That he would put a namesake cat into his poems, but... No, the correct answer, number one, is Tumble Brutus. Mm. <laughs> but I would have also accepted the alternate name, Bill Bailey. Okay, of course. Because those are the two names of that cat. Why does, what, why does that cat get two names that are unrelated? Well, if you look, they are related. You see, they both belong to this cat. <laughs> <laughs> Tumble Brutus. Or Bill Bailey. Why is this cat wearing human two. shoes? When we, Definitely. When, we gotta we, dance. when we go to the premiere of the movie, yeah. can we dress up like... I have started trying to ingratiate myself in the social media of it because I would like to go to the premiere. That's some anyway. good work on the hair, though. Okay, okay let's move on. That, no. Let's move on. Okay, here's here uh. we go. This is kind of another playful one. It's a learning game. It is a trivia game. <laughs> but you already have some information here. Yeah. So it'll help us get to the answer and hopefully help us remember. This cat featured here, I know you're thinking, looks exactly like the last cat. Yeah. <laughs> um, is not. This popular, young, and troublesome, fun-loving kitten was replaced by Pounceable in the 1998 direct-to-video film. Again, I'm seeing two human hands. <laughs> well, they have to dance, okay? It's part of the dancing. Um, Can't wear gloves? No. Is this one, uh, gloves? is this Rain Dancer? Rain Dancer, Grace yeah. Guess. Tumble Brutus 2? Tumble Brutus 2. Yeah, but Roman or the numerals. second. Yeah, yeah. You say it's like Sleepy Winks or something. It's Sleepy got a, Winks. It's got a sling. It's got Great sleeve name there. for a cat. Correct answer is Carbuckety. <laughs> <laughs> Carbuckety. Right. Yeah. These are so these are words I've never heard Carbuckety. before. <laughs> well, Carbuckety was the original kitten cat. Too, yeah. Uh, which was often seen with other cats like etc. <laughs> how, is, how is it a musical called Cats, It'll but like none it. of the cats are named anything when anyone names their cat? Like mittens One's named or Victoria boots. the White Cat in its defense. I have a question. Yeah. Why was this cat replaced by Pounceable? You don't know? You're supposed to be I the aficionado on well, cats. Well I, mean, well, I mean, it's played a video, so they always have to change things, so it makes more sense for the audience. At some, at some yeah. point, I think what happened is they accidentally used this costume, and I'm being serious with you, and then it was too late. And so then every other, the musicals afterwards for yeah. the stage production just changed it. And they're like, fine, Carbuckety is Pounceable. Being that stagehand where Pounceable's coming up to you and going like, where are my ears? You're just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> they're on your head, I don't. Pounceable. All right, let's move on. It's just, it's like just too okay, nice. true or false? Cats was the first Broadway musical to feature a human actor, oh, that's plural, uh, portraying feline characters. True. False. True, false. Uh, I'm gonna say it's true. The answer is true. Seriously? Yes. How, to in the best of my knowledge and research, <laughs> the, the it years is. and legions of culture to pour out of Broadway, there was never a human crawling well, around see, on the ground. Oh, the, the the cat on a hot tin roof was metaphorical, yeah. and the actress mm. still portrayed a human woman. There, there may have been like an <laughs> early to, Renaissance um, play or something where they portrayed cats and acted out, and then they were all burned at the stake. It, yeah, it makes no sense to me but that of all the Broadway theatrics, musical. Yeah. Are this are the clarifiers there and perhaps backstage doesn't count. As That's as where can... you see hit plays like um, the Cursed Child or uh, what's the other one, Huffle Lumps or whatever. Yeah, sure. No, what's the, yeah. Hufflepuff. H yeah, it's, it's all right. Let's move on. Just called for Puffs. the sake of time. All right, back to the simple one. <sighs> Name this cat. Whiteface. No, we've seen him before. That's you have Adam. Yeah, this is a memory. Recall because Shit. this cat was featured this in is, the last game, and I want to see if people are remembering. I can't remember their names; they're all so dumb. I was hoping no one would notice that it, cat was already because <laughs> I thought it was funny. But I mean, it's a different it. actor. I know that. No, it's the exact same photo. Oh, Shit. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Well, we've used Carbuckety, so it's Carbuckety not that is one. not Carbuckety. That's it's Mr. Not any of the names that's Mr. Mistopheles. That Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles. Mr. Mistopheles. Oh, I think saying. I was wrong. All right. Whiteface. I'm still going White with that. Whiteface. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember anything from the last one. I don't remember anything from the last one. Just like Andrew Lloyd Webber. Great guess. Damn it! It's Monkastrap. <laughs> <laughs> but I will tell you, looks almost identical to Mr. Mistopheles. Is that the one I was thinking of? Yes. Oh, Mr. Okay. Mistopheles is a very similar cat. Okay. Uh, black and white cat. All right, let's move on. Okay. Of which tribe do the characters of the musical cats belong? Is is heavy side heavy side's just yeah. a place 
Oh no. So maybe they're the light we side. We know this. Tribe? We know this one. No, we know this. What? I know, know we know this. this. You know this. I know we know this. Which tribe? Fuck, I know I know that we know this answer. Like, you know this answer. It's like it's like in the first sentence of the Wikipedia article. We've talked about it. I don't know about I, that. Like I, de- I devoted myself shit. to Starlight Express. It is a descriptor often used Fuck. for the cats. Fuck. Uh, are they, uh, this was an easy one. I, yeah, I this is a this is a law. We do know this. I think do they are they call themselves the Crips? Mm. Oh. Uh, no, it's the two thirteens. It sounds. Joyous. Give me the first letter. J. J- Jellicles. This is Jellicles. The Jellicles. The Jellicles. They are yeah. the Jellicle cats. Yeah, There's that. a bonus question you... related to this. Sure. <laughs> bonus question. What is the name of the annual event in which all the cats gather? Jellicon. Jellicon. Wow. Yep. Uh, heavy side or bust? Mm, close. <laughs> uh, the Jellicle ball. Let's see the answer. <laughs> His eyebrows. The <laughs> Jellicle <laughs> ball. I mean, the Jellicle <laughs> ball. Correct answer. Unbelievable. No, that was no. Unbelievable. No, That's one point to the least. Oh, I don't want point. it. The wow. Jellicle ball. Top of the leaderboard, Elise. How does it feel? I don't want your point. That yeah. wasn't supposed to be the That's answer. That's your point. There you go. All right, next one. I think we have. Okay, this is just guess the cat. We have, to, I think, we have two more. Oh. Just name this cat, Mr. Okay. Belvedere. That's the James Close. Corden one, right? What's his name, Mr. I will say yes. This is this is what's James this, James Corden this? will be portraying this cat what's in the feature film. I was going to say Throbin Williams. But <laughs> that's what he looks like. Uh, <laughs> Just a quick reminder: the score at least has one. I point. don't want the point. I, it was a joke answer. It wasn't supposed to be what it was actually called. This musical is stupid. Uh, is hanging with Kitty Cooper. <laughs> at least you should know this one. I don't. It's your favorite cat. Old Deuteronomy? Cat. No, your no. favorite cat name. I don't know which one. Old Deuteronomy. Old Deuteronomy is my favorite. It's one. not. It's not. It is. All right. Well, correct answer. Buster for Jones. For Jones. <laughs> I do. Buster like- for Jones. I tried to look up his net worth. Couldn't find it. Wait, the cat <laughs> or the actor? The cat. He's oh. so rich. Because <laughs> he's clearly wealthy. He's yeah. got he didn't little have, fish he didn't skeletons have a on his cravat. Okay. Does. Let's go for the last one. All right. Which celebrity has appeared in a live stage production of Cats on Broadway? Here are choices? your choices. Thomas Jane, <laughs> Grumpy Cat. Oh, this is Denzel Washington, Hugh Jackman. It's gotta be Hugh. This or... feels like a trap, but I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna go with Hugh. Hugh or Thomas, right? I'll, I'll just go with Grumpy Cat just to be safe, because I feel like that's something <laughs> they would have done to that poor creature yeah. when it had the <laughs> its entire 60 years on this planet. Bub. Correct answer. Grumpy Cat! Yeah. Grumpy Cat did make an appearance shortly just, before his death. I wish they would have just... <laughs> her death, excuse me. I wish they would have just let that cat she, just uh, did not their, travel. Cats is known to adapt itself on a whim. Um, and so Grumpy Cat did make an appearance. How were the reviews? Well, we've, what? He wants to know how the reviews are. I want to yeah. know if there's a photo of it. I mean, probably wonderful. I couldn't find a photo, no. I don't think that's the kind of thing you just Bring give away for back free. the Spider-Man musical. Turn off the dark. All right, well, that concludes. Can we roll that? Promo? Promo? We're not promoting the movie. God, no. not technically. Inadvertently, yes. Yeah, we're not getting any money for this. Yeah. Well, great clear. job. Just a quick reminder to the score. Lawrence Valiant, some great guesses in there. Ooh, I'm but trying. this is a learning game, so yeah, you're sure. not supposed to get everything right, everything right the first time. Elise with one point, Adam yeah. also with one point. You yeah. guys are really learning your cats, and I'm proud I, of you. And I yeah, hope. I've learned that when you're new at something, you need to say, I'm learning instead of I suck. Exactly. And then that, that it gives you permission to fail. But Lawrence, you can have my point. I would love you to have you mm, tried so hard. Unfortunately, that's not yeah. how the. Yeah, no, at least I, I would never, I wouldn't want to deprive you of that pride. Mm, you, I don't think so. I, people shit on you all day. True. Um, that's absolutely true. You just look down on those table. comments. <laughs> But maybe this will turn it around for you finally. I'll maybe. make a note so that we'll we can see. keep a running tally of points so we remind the I mean, people were going to get mad cool. at me about the Ryan Johnson thing, but I mean, now that Elise has oh, got yeah. a point. Yeah. Whoever gets point. the most points, do we get a free, like an early ticket to see cats? I cannot promise that. Okay. I cannot. <laughs> yeah, again, this is not an official promotion. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All I can promise is that if you do decide to go see cats, you will not be disappointed because it will be the be- best film of the year. I and... can promise you at least 90 minutes of sheer entertainment. Yeah, there, there is a J.J. Abrams Star Wars movie coming out this year, my friend. Oh, fucking right. right. There's going to be. I think the same day as Cats. Oh, here's here's the thing. thing. Double feature. I've heard that there are Star Wars three. reshoots because it's such a mess. I've also heard that, that they're possible? not reshooting a single thing for Cats because it was perfect the first time. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about Last Skywalker for a second. J.J. Abrams doesn't make mistakes. No, I think they are doing reshoots. I think it's Rise of the Skywalker. For, right? Rise of the Skywalker. Really? Yeah. Huh. 
from Rise of the Fall. Rise of the Fall. We'll last oh, well. I got a patch over all that progressivism from last that, Jedi. That's for a different podcast altogether. Thank you guys for joining me. I didn't introduce you at the top of the show, so I'll do it at the end. Thank you to Lauren Sontag, Elise Willems, and Adam Kovic for joining yeah. me for this episode of Dude Soup. Uh, I just want to shout out uh, what to ch- look out for this weekend on Funhouse, the Funhouse channel. Um, Hardline Part 2. Yeah. <gasps> It's coming out. Cool. Oh, we continued that. We are going to finish that fucking game because it's awesome. Yeah. It's pretty rad. <laughs> We're moving um, through it pretty quickly. Yeah. Also, <laughs> also <laughs> Drunk yet. Mario Maker oh, yeah. is coming this, as well. This weekend already? We had our this drunk weekend, stream. Yeah. Uh, it was sponsored and that kind of speeds up. Friday. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, uh, but we, we all have a cut down of that. Of best moments. And it's going to be a lot of fun because it was fun to do. Um, thank you to Lawrence for setting, organizing. <laughs> yeah. that thank you guys for enduring that. it. Um, and, uh, and many more excellent videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time did, did yeah. cats get the hors d'oeuvre at the penis film festival we're better than that at least this so. is a late night talk show yes he did a late night yeah. talk show is it better sure. than magic johnson's late night talk show yes because it's mm. chevy chase okay. and it's chevy chase bringing people and just taking the piss the entire time and they're like i feel like i'm on carson and he's <sighs> I wonder if you can get that anywhere. I mean, it's got to be out there in the ether somewhere. The 